Hi, this is a 3D print, a wall cover of a motorcycle that I was reversed from the original 3D scan that was sent to me by a customer. The original wall cover is made from aluminum casting and the customer wants to print this one with the nylon carbon fiber. This print is an exactly clone of the original part. It has a wall thickness of 2.8. 8 millimeters and this is a mounting face that has a pocket for installing an oil seal the oil seal side is 2 millimeters so when attach this wall cover over the engine valve it has to be mounted with the 3 M10 bolts so for each bolt it will be a uh, tightening to a 7 newton meter with a torque wrench so it will create a 70 kilogram of force on each mounting hole so when I put this model into a simulation and apply a nylon 6 material uh, to this valve cover when the force is applied over the bolt this edge here will start to lift up for uh, 7 millimeters and the back panel here will bulging when it's print with the nylon even with the carbon fiber uh, this part will deform too much and the oil seal will lift up from the engine valve and the oil will leak because the original part is made from casting aluminum which has a stiffness uh, young modulus of 70 gigapascal so the aluminum is very stiff and if I print this with the nylon carbon fiber it the stiffness is only 5 gigapascal the aluminum is 12 times more stiff than this object and the original designer add this cylinder you see this cylinder the cross beam there are three of them to stiffen this wall cover even when it was made with the aluminum so I think that the deformation when complex with the bolt is very important so I need to keep this number as low as possible this one is print with the PLA it has young modulus of 3 gigapascal and I can even move this with my hand with a minimum force a few kilograms uh, this one the Fiberon PA6CF20 carbon fiber 20% it will have a stiffness of 8.6 gigapascal which is 8 times lower than the aluminum and for the nylon carbon fiber one the stiffness is around 5 gigapascal so that will be um, 14 times lower than the aluminum so there is nothing in the filament technology that come close to the stiffness of the metal none of this so the customer has already paid me to design this so i will figure out the way to make this work for the stress of the materials the nylon is fine the stress around the fixing point is only 50 megapascal which is fine with the nylon carbon fiber materials but i need to eliminate the deformation Okay, this is a handle of a computer case. So what I do is I create a pocket. I use an M3 brass insert, place it into the 3D print part. And this one is um, a three millimeters aluminum plate. I cut with the CNC machine. It doesn't cost that much because it's, it's quite easy to uh, make. Without the uh, aluminum, this uh, handle will flex and when you hold it, it will feel unsecure. So if I put the aluminum bit in there, the aluminum is stiffer than the ABS. So when the force is applied to the composite part like this, the aluminum plate will carry all the load until it start to deform. So this part, we have the stiffness of this aluminum plate but it had the shape of the 3D printed part. That's uh, what I need to put into the wall cover to increase the stiffness. So I'm going to uh, redesign this part. I will remove this cylinder and I will replace it with the pocket for installing the stainless steel sheet. And also in the back side, which is uh, very easy to bulging, also put a uh, small strip of the stainless steel in this area as well 
And I will show you the simulation result between stainless steel reinforced and without the stainless steel reinforced. In my previous video, I did this by tracing the sketch profiles along the point cloud, but this one I use a different approach. Uh, let me show you. I start by uh, extruding the base and then I create a box like this and then I start to shaving it into the shape of the point cloud. Okay, I will start the simulation by excluding the stainless steel plate from the simulation. I apply a nylon material onto the valve cover and this will be a constraint point, the fixing point, and this will be the face that will be subject to a pre-state loading 210 kilograms which is uh, 2,100 Newton. Okay, now the simulation is done. Without the uh, steel reinforcements, the stress on the shell of the valve cover is somewhere around 30, 30 to 40 megapascal, which is uh, below the maximum tensile strength of a, a nylon carbon fiber. So the strength is fine. There's no issue with the, with the breaking of the shell. But what I interest is the displacement. If I click here, do some animation, you can see here at this point, it will lift up when the pre stress force is applied to the shell, 3.5 millimeters. So this will be the point where the oil will leak from the valve cover. And also in the back, it will budging out about the same value, 3.5 millimeters. So if you look from the bottom, so this, uh, deformation is too much. So next, I'm going to include the stainless steel sheet into the simulation. Okay, this will be the same uh, model, but I just include this stainless steel strip at two millimeter in the thickness into the simulation. I apply the same force, 2100, and I also apply the same material, which is a nylon six, and the same constraint. Okay, let's start the simulation. A one misses stress protein. The steel carry out the load because it's stiffer when force applied to the composite model. The steel, which is uh, put on the extreme surface of the object, will carry out the load until it starts to deform. Then the load will be applied to the nylon materials. When you look at the displacement, see the numbers change from uh, a 3.6 millimeter to 1.9 in the back and in the front only uh, 1.1 millimeter so this is with uh, 210 kilograms of the 
tightening force from the three bolts, but in fact, the tightening force is much lower than that. Someone told me is uh, half of that. So if I compress this uh, valve cover with just 100 kilograms, it should be able to uh, seal the oil with the oil seal upper. So if I change the number to just 100 kilograms, 1000 Newton, and Leland the simulation. Okay, now with the uh, 100 kilograms, the uh, two millimeter steel plate who has a uh, stress only 150 megapascal, which is uh, below the yield point. 250 megapascal of the stainless steel. So the stainless steel will carry all the load. So if I uh, pretension the bolt, the three bolts less than 100 kilograms, then the stainless steel can carry all the load without helping from the nylon shell and the displacement value see here is we go down to uh, at this point 0.5 millimeters and in the back it's 0.9 millimeters so this part will bulging out for about one millimeter so if i use nylon with the carbon fiber and the deformation will be uh, less than this but with the help of the stainless steel plate it can reduce the deflection by half i think this would be the best way to control the deformation on the uh, 3d print plastic part even though it doesn't look uh, good you need to put a lot of uh, brass insert and uh, m3 screws i hope that this will be helpful for some so thanks you guys for uh, watching uh, see you in the next video